what up what up what up not just kidding um uh, this is ashley couture here back with another video showing you how i do my brightening bar so let's go how my son say so now here is the part where i am putting together all the different oils uh, measuring them out and all that writing what worked what didn't work you know you always want to have a formulating journal which i just started because i didn't know that myself you know you know mixy 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 so okay right here this is me setting up my colorants i should have just used a half a teaspoon because i feel like i used too much oil in this bar but i mean it's still gonna work bomb but i did put too much oil so um i bought another red clay i got this from hobby lobby and i really like how the color turned out and now this is my uh i forgot what clay oh european clay it's supposed to be a green color and that is turmeric in the last one so back to this uh this european clay that's a green color now last time i put the charcoal in with it to make it darker and i forgot to do it this time i was so mad but it's okay because i mean this this bar this bar is still gonna do what it has to do because yeah it's just that's the way it is <laughs> i did um warm up these oils and it helps a whole lot better like with mixing purposes so maybe you know warming up your oils before you mix in your different colorants well i only mix like clays and turmeric like natural ingredients and it was perfect Man, I'm listening back to the, the replay and I sound so damn country, but it's okay. So right now, um, I warmed up all of my oils and I am going in mixing the lye. I finally borrowed a, what this thing is called? A strainer. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting a brain fart. So I like to just mix it in just a little bit before I put in my blender, my stick blender. And then I'm going to mix them together so that the spasonification can start and you know this this process really makes and breaks the formula because if you mix it too much then you literally will just have like a glob of a glob of soap like it's horrible so but you don't want to make not mix it too little to where your oil and your lye is not mixed in properly so this just this process just take really um experimenting you and the more you do it the better your formulations do come out Phew, that was some elbow action going on there. So now that I, I like how the formula is, I am now am going to add my brightening agent. How about I was looking back in this video and I'm like, dang, I didn't know I had a scratch on my arm. <sighs> Crazy, huh? So I'm just going in to like really mix in my uh, brightening agent. I could have stick blended this back but I don't know I just I was scared y'all I was scared to for it to be thicker and I know I'm gonna add the clays in there and the clays make it extra thick so I just went in and sectioned everything off and I am adding each color in like really hand mixing it to where that the formula is all mixed in with uh, said color in so oh and i call this a red clay i meant rose clay oh, man y'all just don't mind me um i'll be all over the place but 
my bars is popping and it's really helping out people's skin like I'm just so thankful for just to like come up with this formula and that I can just help be in the author of beauty in a better way of helping the preservation of everyone's skin So now I'm just going in and layering each layer. I I think I did it way different last time, but I was just really trying to hurry up because the soap was getting thick on me. And the video is about to cut off soon because I lost my second battery. So <laughs> I just have a little portion of me stacking the color, but guess the what? Guess the what? What y'all about to see in the next clip? It's all done up so like I said I feel like I added too much oil in this formulation so I had to let it set up a little bit more so this is days like maybe like three days later that it's just been sitting getting hard making sure it's not too soft but look at that I'm loving my new rose clay and straining the turmeric really helped to make that coloring more harmonious so i'm really really loving that i like to use the strings to cut like i believe this was like a cheese cutter on amazon and i just purchased that to help cut my soap because my soap is when you first make soap soap is really soft to where like you can use a, a cheese cutter to cut each bar and i like that it really i just i like the way it cut and i made these bars just a tad bit bigger than i normally make them than i normally cut them excuse me um so yeah so you just get a lot more bang for your buck you know if we, once you purchase it and i will have that down below so this will be available next month but i do have my facial bars if you have oily to normal to combination skin i have my hemp bars for available for you to purchase and if you have normal to dry skin I do have my my original facial bar available as well too but I'll just let you enjoy the rest of the video make sure you like if you want to chat it up you're more than welcome to comment it below and we can definitely have a little chit chat and make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe as well too because i'm gonna really be coming out with more content and i really really enjoy making soap and just making products in general so yeah check out my journey